Hello everyone, in this video let us study the rank analyte theorem. Rank analyte theorem says for any given matrix A having n number of rows and n number of columns, rank A plus nullity of A should give us the number of columns n. For example, if suppose rank a is equal to the number of columns n, then by invertible matrix theorem, we know that only solution for homogeneous equation A is equal to 0 is the trivial solution that is x equal to 0. So therefore, null space is an empty set having the value 0 and nullity of A is 0. So, in this case, rank A is equal to N and nullity of A is 0. That is equal to number of columns N. Thus, the theorem is proved. We we'll try to understand the nullity theorem with an example. Let us consider a matrix defined as 2, 4, 1 in the first row, 1, 2, 0 in the second row, 5, 0, 0 in the third row. We reduce this matrix into echelon form by row reduction method. Here the number of rows n equal to 3. The number of columns n equal to 3. When we reduce this, the form what we get final form is 100, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Not a single row gets eliminated. So we can write that rank R is equal to M that is equal to 3. And here we have 3 pyotal elements 1, 1, 1. So corresponding to these pyotal elements we have the variables x1, x2 and x3. These are the pyotal variables. There are no key variables. Therefore, when we solve these we get x1 equal to 0, x2 equal to 0, x3 equal to 0. So null set is a trivial set having the value 0, 0, 0. Therefore, the nullity of A is 0. Number of columns is always given by, by nullity theorem. Rank A plus nullity of A. Rank A of rank of A is 3. Nullity of A is 0. So, 3 plus 0 is equal to 2. Thus, nullity theorem is true. Uh, we will take the second problem. It is a 3 cross 4 matrix, 3 rows and 4 columns. We will try to verify the nullity theorem. And we will apply the uh, row reduction technique to get the final echelon form. Uh, we get that as 1, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, minus 7, minus 7, 0, 0, 0. So here you can observe that one row is getting eliminated. We are left with entries only for two rows. So we can define the rank R is equal to 2. And corresponding to these total elements, we have the variables x1 and x2. And remaining x3 and x2 both can be considered as three variables. So let us write the equation 1 into x1 plus 1 into x2 plus 2 into x3 plus 3 into x4 will give us 0. So let me write x1 in terms of your variable x2 and the three variables x3 and x4. Second equation can be written as x2 minus 7x3 minus 7x4 is equal to 0. So your variable x2 is equal to 7x3 plus 7x4. Let us substitute this in this equation. We can get the final equation x1 is equal to 9x3 minus 10x4. We will try to put the equations in the matrix form. 
here we have the four variables x1, x2, x3, x4. Um, x3 and x4 are the three variables and we have the two basis vectors minus 9, 7, 1, 0, minus 10, 7, 0, 1. And uh, the null space can be written as span of the two basis vectors minus 9, 7, 1, 0, minus 10, 7, 0, 1. So therefore, we can say that there are two basis vectors. So therefore, the nullity is 2. Rank is 2. Nullity is 2. So we, the number of columns in the given matrix should be always equal to rank A plus nullity of A according to uh, nullity theorem. So it is 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Thus we are doing the nullity theorem. Thank you. In the next video we study about the linear transformations.